Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, backing up your site, really essential. If your site gets hacked or if something happens, update breaks the site, it's a great idea to have a backup that you can easily restore. And I've been asked this several times, so I'm going to show you the way I do it. And I'm going to do it with a free plugin called WP Vivid that's absolutely awesome. Now this is just a regular site. I've got about 20 or 25 pages on it. I've been using it to demo my videos here. So it's pretty small, but I've used this on big, small and medium. So if we go down to the dashboard, I've already got mine installed. Let's go down to plugins. I'll uninstall it and we'll start from scratch. I'm going to deactivate this quickly and I'll delete it. Okay, so go to your plugins page, hit the add new. In the search panel up here, we need to type WP Vivid V I V I D. Once you hit return, you'll find this pop up. They've just actually changed their logo. Migration backup staging. It's got five stars and over 300,000 active installs. <laughs> I think it's awesome. So I'm going to hit the install now. And I'm going to activate it. Once activated, it takes you straight to its page and you've got a little menu entry down here. On the first tab here, we can back up and restore database and files. Now, if you've got a small or medium site, I do that. If you've got a very large site, I probably only do the database and back up your files manually because occasionally on a big site, not because of this plugin, just because of the time it takes, a server will actually time out and it won't let you actually do it. So you can choose WordPress files, exclude the database, only the database. You can save them to local, which I usually do for a small or medium site. Send backups to remote storage if you want to. And I've done that before with a Dropbox really easy to set up. I think I've got a video showing how to do that out there. Down below, once you've got any backups, they'll appear here. And you can upload backups that you've downloaded to your desktop for safekeeping. And I'll show you how to do that later on. Another fantastic feature of this, it'll let you schedule or schedule when it backs up. Just put a little checkbox in there where it says enable backup schedule. You can choose daily, weekly, fortnightly, monthly. If you want to do custom, you'll have to have the pro. I actually have never had a reason to use the pro. So the free one seems to work for just about everything. So choose what you want, pop it in there. Once you've decided what you want to do, make sure you hit the save changes at the bottom. I'll take you back to the backup restore. If we look over in the settings, you can choose how many backups to store on your site. I usually only keep a couple there. I'll download the original and let the others three stay on the site. Each time it does one, it'll drop one off the end. So you've only got three at any one time. Great. Well, let's do one. I'm going to go back to the first tab, backup restore kit. I'm going to hit the backup now button. I'm going to have the database and files. It'll probably take a couple of minutes, but I'll pause it while it's just rolling up the progress bar. So let's hit the back up now and here's a little progress bar right here like I say this is a pretty small to medium sized site okay we're at 85 percent now it's been running for one minute and four seconds as you can see down here and now it's complete and as you may have noticed it's appeared down here so this is where your backups will appear and if you've got it on a schedule, they'll all appear here. Okay, what about restoring a site? Well, let's go and change something. Let's just go to the home page of this site. And what I'll do in a, in a minute, I've got a fresh install of WordPress here and I'll show you how to migrate a site with it too, really easy. So let's go to our site. Uh, let's enable the visual builder and we'll just delete a couple of sections. 
Okay, let's delete this parallax text mask. Blue tab for a section. And these three little call to action boxes. That's fine. That's all we'll do. Now that's all saved. We'll go back to our WP Vivid dashboard here. Go down to your little backup that we just did now, just now. This time I'm going to go over to restore right here. I'm just going to click left click on restore. It's going to ask me if I'm sure I'm doing this on a local host. So it's giving that message, but that's not a problem at all. It'll still do it fine. I'm going to hit the restore button. It's going to prompt and ask me if I'm sure. Yep. And again, we've got a little progress bar right here. And we're just about at the end. And it's telling me that restore has completed so successfully. That took about a minute and a half. And that's it. It's done it. If I visit the site now, we should have those two sections back that we deleted just then. This is how we left it. That's our top section. If I refresh this now. And there we have it with our little parallax text mask section and our little boxes back. Great. So say you've built something on local or you want to move it from one host to another host. Like I said, I've got a brand new fresh install of WordPress right here. What I'm going to do is go back to my original site, the one I want to copy over to my new site. Here we are back in the WP Vivid Backup and Restore. Over here, we've got a little download arrow. Click on it. It's actually giving me two files. I'm going to download that one. And I'm going to download this one. While those are downloaded, I'm going to go over to my new site. Down to my dashboard. Like I say, this is just an absolute fresh install of WordPress. It's got nothing that I've added to it. I'm going to go over to my plugins. I'm going to go to add new. I'm going to put WP Vivid in again. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and install and activate it again. And again, it's taken us to our new panel down here. Here's my two files that I downloaded from my original site. So I'm going to go ahead and upload. Just drag and drop. Hit the upload button. And it'll give you a little percentage over here of the time it's going to take to upload it. OK, it's telling me the upload has completed. I'm going to just say OK. And it's appeared in our little panel right here. Now, what you've got to remember before you restore a site is you're going to need the passwords to get into the original site. So whatever was the password on our original site here, you're going to need to enter that once this is restored to be able to get in, obviously. OK, so let's hit restore. I'm going to hit the little restore button. Hit OK. OK, that was about a minute and a half again. It says restore has completed successfully. I'm going to hit the OK button. Now it's going to prompt me to log in. And remember, it's the credentials for that site up there. Let's go ahead and log in. Takes us straight back to WP Vivid. Let's check out the site. And here we are. It's a complete duplicate of the site that we had initially. And you've got to check that all the pages are going to work for you. That's fine. The time has run down. That's fine. I'm happy with all that. Occasionally you might get a 404 error. If that happens, simply go down to your dashboard. Go down to settings and permalinks. That's pretty much all you have to do. You don't actually have to do anything. But what I tend to do is just change something and then change it back to how it was. Hit the save changes. Once I've done that, that tends to fix any of those 404 errors you may get. So there's our clone site. 
here's our original site as you can see exactly the same fantastic little free plugin use it all the time and i really recommend you do just backing up once or twice can save you so much work in the future if your site has a catastrophic fail and you can't even get to the dashboard to do this you can actually go to your hosting go to your public html once you get in there it's going to have all the wordpress files in there if you go into your wordpress content you'll find wp vivid backups in there you can go in there and download your backups this way put a new install of wordpress on there install and activate wp vivid upload whichever of these backups you want and you're back in business so there you go guys there's how to back up transfer and fix problems with your site using the fantastic free plugin wp vivid i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.